In this video, we'll look at ETTR and how to activate this on the IQ4. ETTR or Exposed to the Right is a feature to get the maximum dynamic range and expose for the highlights when capturing an image. This is a one touch solution, so this will automatically select your settings for this capture. This differs from the automatic mode as it will expose for the highlights, making sure that these are not clipped and preserving the most amount of data in your RAW file. As a feature update 8, this is in the lab features, so this must be activated before use. You can see by default this is not enabled in the side menu. So you can enable lab features by scrolling up, going to menu, about, and turning on lab features. Then on the main screen, it will give you access to ETTR. Swipe from the side and press ETTR, and the back will take a couple of seconds to calculate the correct exposure and capture the image. There is a small percentage to show you the progress here. When we take this image into Capture One, we can do a comparison between ETTR and the Auto Modes. As the Auto Mode uses an average exposure, you can see here that this sky is overexposed in the image. However, with ETTR, it looks at the highlights and makes sure that these are preserved. When this image is taken, it will make sure that the highlights have not been clipped, but give us the most amount of data in our final image. This gives us less noise in our shadows and preserves the most amount of dynamic range. One other thing to be aware of for this feature to work, we must have Live View Auto Gain in Viewfinder mode. We can check this by scrolling up, going to Menu, IQ Settings, Live View Auto Gain and Viewfinder Mode. This is still a lab feature, so it is still in development. However, you can try this early feature whilst we develop it for final release.